Over 40 years later, and Greece is still the word. It feels like we've given a gift mm. to mm. mankind somehow, you know, around the world. Only E.T. has these behind-the-scenes stories from the beloved classic. Oh, God, it was so hot. People were fainting. Sandy! Teddy? They had brought up Linda Ronstadt. They'd brought up Murray Osmond. And I said, it, it, they're wonderful, but every guy in the world wants Olivia and John as their, <laughs> oh. their girlfriend. <laughs> right. And I knew that because I wanted that. I, I felt the same way. And every girl wants to be like her. And I said, if you don't see this, you guys are nuts. Because there was only one person in the world that was Sandy, and that was Olivia Newton-John. John said that the pain ratio of numbers, that definitely the dance contest in the gym was the hardest. Oh God, it was so hot. People were fainting. The prom thing, the prom, and that was a lot of work. Stuff. And it was dead, it work. was really hot. It was really hot in that uh, gym, yeah. but it was... Uh, it was but we fun. had a, a ball. I mean, the whole movie, for me, it was like going to high school. I never went to high school like that. Beauty school dropout, no graduation day for you. I mean, I have to admit, Frankie. <laughs> But it was so wonderful. I mean, he he's just he's got something. And I guess being in the character of Frenchie and wishing for a guardian angel to tell me what to do and to get me out of this terrible jam, you know, uh, that those were two days that I'll never forget. Well, I remember the first time he got close to me. I mean, drool just, <laughs> just came out. And he told me that of all the hits that he's had, and he had major, major hits, Beauty School Dropout is his most popular song, requested everywhere. Like his lieutenant, like his second, you know? Yeah. So? Well, I, I thought that you could maybe be my second at Thunder Road. Well, the scene where John and I, where I asked him to be my second at Thunder Road, and uh, that was my concept for that scene. Because the, the scene was there, and but it just it didn't have a hook. It wasn't, it wasn't working, you know, for, for, for me anyway. And, and I thought, well, how do you express that? How do guys express love for each other, you know? And after this kind of vulnerable scene of one tough guy asking another guy, could you, could you back me up in case I get into trouble? And, and they were close friends, and I know, they hug. They hug. What do you mean they hug? What are you gonna do? You you hugging in front of the guys are there in the fifties? You know, you know it, it didn't work. And, <laughs> and I thought, well, how will we get out of that? And I thought, okay, well, they just kind of get away from each other. Oh, the hitting started. That's what happened at the hug. You know, that kind of love, puppy love kind of a thing turned into the hug. And then, oh my God, what are we doing? Whip out the comb, baby. Get cool. <laughs> about it. Stop. I always think of the minute that I came out as Sandy too as being kind of exciting even on the day we did it. All that was just, I, it was a natural reaction. <laughs> you know, it was so much fun to see her fun. dressed up in that garb, you know. That number, like doing that number great was number. great fun. When Olivia tried on her Sandy outfit, you know, the Sandy, Hot Mama Sandy outfit, we were on location doing the drive-in and it was nighttime, and nobody recognized her. She had her hair all done up in the tight pants, and, tight, and nobody recognized her. The this real? is the jacket. This wow. I've maintained. We won't talk about the pants. <laughs> the jacket I can still oh, wear. Stretch pants. <laughs> oh, come on. I just got larger size khakis. And I, jacket. <laughs> you look good. I think you guys looked great. Well, what are we going to do after graduation? Yeah, maybe we'll never see each other again. No, nah, that'll never happen. How do you know? What do you mean, how do I know? Nothing has been able to replace it um, conceptually. Mm -hmm. You know, you can name other mm -hmm. kind of movies or musicals that have replaced themselves over the years, but this one you, you can't quite pinpoint. Maybe it's the common denominator. Everyone like has high school in common. Everyone mm -hmm. uh, kind of loved the birth of rock and roll, right? And that exemplifies that. I don't know. It takes you on. It's interpretive almost, you know. Mm -hmm. It was different than every other thing I've worked on in 37 years. It was a party, it really was. And 
everybody was getting a chance to live out some fantasy that they'd had of the 50s. I think it's just amazing to be in a movie that's a classic. I mean, mm. it's been popular, it seems like every year from then, I've heard someone talk about Greece, how they love it, or their children love it, or their grandchildren love it, and they watch it on tape at least once a week. It's just incredible. I feel very lucky. It feels like we've given a gift mm. to mm. mankind somehow, you know, around the world. And that feels uh, so, so honorable. I think, don't you? Mm, you know, it, it feels like you've contributed something and somebody's glad you're alive. You know what I mean? <laughs> and we're still alive. Yeah. <laughs>